Hi, I'm Nikki, and this is the Refresh 2024 Mercedes-Benz GLE, one of my favorite vehicles. We're meeting up with Matt, the product manager for the GLE, to talk all new features and everything you can expect in 2024. Hey, Nikki. Hi, Matt. How are you? Good. How are you? Good. So this is the all-new Refresh GLE for 2024. It looks amazing. We have new paints, new upholsteries, new trim, and all new technology, and a fully updated engine lineup as well. Awesome, so tell me a little more about this front end. It looks more flashy, more fun. This is actually the AMG line with night package. With that, we get a new grill. So we now have the star pattern instead of the diamond pins. We have a more aggressive lower front apron as well. New on the GLE is this updated design for the LED headlights. So standard is LED headlights. When you get the Pinnacle package, this gives you the multi-beam headlight, which has now the four daytime running light accents, and then this light flare at the top. Nice, so now we're gonna get much clearer light while yeah. we're driving at yep. night? <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> Definitely in the rain. <laughs> yep. So I've noticed up here in the front, there's this new camera up here. What is that for? Yeah, so this is for the surround view systems. New for the refreshed GLE, we now have surround view as standard. So all GLEs now have a surround view camera so you can see everything around the car. And then you also get the transparent hood features. I'll show you that a little bit later, but you can actually see what's going on underneath the car, which is oh, a really cool awesome. feature. Awesome, so this way, less driving over potholes. Yeah, potholes, rocks, whatever. <laughs> I've noticed there's a lot of black trim throughout the car, even on the side view mirrors here. This particular GLE actually has the night pack Package with AMG line. So with that, we add black accents around the star and on the lamella, down on the lower front apron. And then also moving to the side of the car, we have black mirrors, mm -hmm. black window surrounds, and then also black roof rails. Well, it definitely looks a lot flashier and more luxury, I think, than in past years. Can you tell me about these wheels that I see here? Yeah, so these wheels are all new for the refreshed GLE. So they're 21 inch five spoke with black accents, which is part of the night package. And when you get AMG line or night package, you also get upgraded brakes. The brakes are perforated. That's where you can see these holes here. And then also the brake caliper has Mercedes-Benz lettering and is larger than the, the standard GLE. And the wheel arch is also with AMG line. It's painted to match the body color of the car on the front and the rear. This is a new color for the GLE. It's manufacturer Alpine Gray. And then we also have another new color for the GLE with the refresh. It's called Twilight Blue. It's a nice light blue color. Now I've noticed that it's not one of your sparkly colors, but it's also not a matte color. It's not a matte paint. It's actually a flat paint. So that means there's no metallic finish to it. I think it's a sporty look for the car. I quite like it. The black accents with the new paint. I think it, it goes really well. Definitely. Can you tell me about these taillights? So the taillights are newly redesigned for the refresh GLE. So we now have these two horizontal blocks giving it a more muscular appearance. And also the LED turn signals are now amber instead of the previous red. So give it a little better visibility for the drivers behind you. Mm -hmm. What else are we seeing down here? I see all the black still. We have night package, so we get some additional black accents. So mm -hmm. around the exhaust, it's normally in chrome when you get the AMG line, but with night package, it becomes black. And then Formatic is now also standard on all GLEs for 2024. So we'll never see a GLE without Formatic at Correct. this point yeah, from so 2024. Formatic is the new standard for all GLEs. So I've previously driven a GLE 350, so what's changed? The new GLE 350 for 2024 has an all new engine. So it now has the mild hybrid system, giving it increased efficiency and performance. Totally different feel than what you may have experienced in the past. So love for you to get in and go for a drive and let me know what you think. Let's do it. I really like the steering wheel. It looks a lot different than the ones of the past. It's not as thick and bulky. It's yeah, very it's sleek. A new steering wheel. It's the fifth generation steering wheel. We also have it in the S-Class, and then this particular one has the wood trim around it. So because we have this black glossy wood trim, then mm -hmm. you can also, if you'd like, option the, the steering wheel. We have this steering wheel, we have a full leather one, and then if you get the AMG line interior, you get a more aggressive, sporty steering wheel with a flat bottom. And these touch buttons are very different. 
They're not, you know, I'm used to all the scrolling. Mm -hmm. Now it's just very light touch. Yeah, it's very light. It moves very fast. Once you get used to it, it's, it's super easy to use and you just kind of swipe through different menus, navigation. And what's nice is that with Mercedes, you can pretty much control the center screen 100% directly through the steering wheel. You can also control the screen via touch or via the touchpad in the center console. So you have multiple different ways to interact with the system. Great. Still have similar layout and functions as the predecessor, but a lot of the technology underlying the car has been updated. This car has the pinnacle trim, which is the top level. We have three different levels. We have the premium, which is the standard car, the exclusive, which adds Burmester, ventilated seats, and augmented reality for navigation. And then this one has Pinnacle, which steps it up and also adds the head-up display. Now the navigation actually looks a little different. The 2D looks a little more clear, a little better lines, much better color. Yeah, it's really crisp, high definition. You can even now change some settings and you can get a satellite map. So if you want to see actually what, what it looks like, you can now do that and you can see it much closer than previous. That is a great feature. So now I know if I'm going to hit some hills, some mountains, Yep. Anything like that. How does this driving compare to your Geely? I really enjoy this. I find the pickup is very smooth. I don't have to really put a lot of pressure on the gas pedal to move. I'm very seamlessly just gliding along. It's a lot less, less touchy. Yeah, it's uh, <laughs> definitely smoother. Definitely so, quiet. Yeah, it is very <laughs> quiet. We have a whole refresh of engine. This is the 350, which is a two liter inline four turbo. Mm -hmm. Now with the mild hybrid system, that aids in the smoothness. It will provide an extra 148 pound-feet of torque and extra 20 horsepower. When you put the car in eco mode, it will even shut off the engine while you're going down hills to give you even better fuel efficiency. That's great. So now I have an eco display in front of me. Yep, so this is new for the latest generation head unit. You can kind of think of it as a game, I guess. <laughs> so this little ball that's rolling around. So mm -hmm. as you put your foot on the pedal, if you pushed hard on it, the ball would change yellow to red, letting you know that you're not driving in the most efficient way. Where you have it now is perfect. As you continue to drive efficiently, you'll get kind of more and more of these stars. So um, it's a nice, nice little fun tool to help you drive more efficiently. Yeah, I'm assuming my two out of five stars is I'm not that great at my efficiency, but I can get there. Not yet, but if you watch, <laughs> watch the ball some more, you'll get there. <laughs> An all new offering for the Geely is the Geely 450E. That is a plug-in hybrid. We don't have our official figures yet, but we should see about 40 miles of fully electric driving. There should be a lot of gas savings if you go for the plug-in hybrid exactly. way. Exactly, it gives yeah. you the EV experience while still mm -hmm. having the, the ability to use a gas engine. Because we have the latest generation technology in here, we have some different new displays. Right now you're looking at the standard display for the instrument cluster. Mm -hmm. This is just your typical speedometer, tachometer, and then you can change the center display to various things like navigation map, the eco display mm -hmm. like you have right now. Also, you have the ability for a sport display that shows your horsepower, your torque, mm -hmm. and kind of changes everything to have a red accent. And then we also have a navigation display. So if you wanted maybe to keep your music in this screen mm -hmm. and then have your full navigation in that screen, you could do that. And then we also have an assistance screen, which kind of uses the driver assistance sensors and cameras and shows you what the car is seeing around you. Mm -hmm. And then new for the GLE is an off-road screen. So that shows you your mm -hmm. steering angle, compass, your incline, there's also an off-road mode on mm -hmm. this screen for when you're actually going off-road. And with that, you can see things like how the power is being delivered to each wheel. Now you're saying my GLE can now go off-road. Absolutely, yes. And they all have formatic now mm -hmm. um, and they're all fully variable formatic. So what that means is that the power delivery is intelligently kind of being managed by the car's computers. Does that also mean we can look down and see what's below us so we don't hit anything? The camera system has been fully updated. That also adds in off-roading the transparent hood feature. So it's a new feature for us, new for the GLE. And what that does is it actually uses the surround view cameras to create an image of what's directly underneath the hood. Mm -hmm. So you can see exactly what's below the wheels and below the hood, avoid obstacles when off-roading, or avoid potholes if you're going slow enough. Mm -hmm. Though it's a really cool feature. That is definitely something worth having.
Well, also notice this interior. This seems like a new color for Mercedes. It is. So this is Catalana beige leather, and it's mm -hmm. all new for Geely and all the models. Mm -hmm. This trim is also all new for the Geely. This came directly from the GLS Maybach. It's the manufactured piano liqueur flowing lines with trim. It is definitely fun. I like how it has the lines. It really yeah. adds a little other dimension in here. And another thing that was also adapted from the GLS Maybach is these air vents. The air vents are now fully finished in chrome. I kind of like how the mm -hmm. lines of the air vents also go exactly with the wood trim lines. Which they do, they align that yeah. so well. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's a nice touch. The ambient lighting is also now standard in the GLE. It's one of the things that I think Mercedes does so well. We have ambient lighting all over on the front, under the screens, in the footwells, mm -hmm. in the door pockets, and then also in the rear. New for the latest generation is that we now have the color palettes of what was introduced in the S-Class. So you can have your individual fixed color, but then there are also color palettes where you can select a different mood and then it'll kind of rotate through those different colors that you select. And those now are also the same as what's on the S-Class. So are we still looking at the 64 color moods? 64 color moods here, <laughs> but yeah, then you can actually go in and, and change it up some more. Wow, so they really wanted you to feel like you're sitting in luxury. Yes. What'd you think of the refreshed 2024 GLE? This is probably one of the coolest cars they're starting to come out with. I love the quietness, the steering wheel, and overall the comfort that is in this car. Well, awesome, glad to hear that you love it. Hopefully you'll get one for yourself pretty soon. That is all I can hope for. My next car, definitely a 2024 GLE. In this color? I think so, Perfect. it has sold me. Awesome.